Frida Maria, uh, who is in studio with me. She has an interesting story. But before we talk about Frida Maria, the name of the segment is Strength of a Woman. And we, st we try to highlight uh, the women who are leading a life that could be inspiring to, re to the rest of the queens out there. So in, uh, uh, in my hands, I have two of her books. Uh, she used to be uh, the queen of Chakacha, but now she's turned uh, minister and she goes by the name Fa Farida Maria. Yes. And uh, the author of the book, Princess Farida the New Me, and uh, Priceless Gems Every Girl Should Have. Karibu sana. Asante sana, mm -hmm. Thank yes, you. Yes, in case you missed anything, <laughs> uh, you can tell them on that camera right there. Yeah. Just a brief intro of yourself and a brief bio. Mm -hmm. Hi, praise the Lord. My name is Princess Farida. I'm a gospel minister. I'm a mother. I'm an author. Yes, I, lo I love the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Karibu sana, when you are in the morning. Yes. I used to watch you as a kid, and I just figured that out right now. I used to watch you, but I couldn't like connect the two. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the new Frid, uh, Farida yes. and the old Farida, Queen <laughs> of Chakasha. But it's a pleasure to meet you. I used to be a big fan. Oh, thank you. All right. Yes, so uh, you have been busy writing books, mm -hmm. ministering, yes. uh, traveling the world, yes. and doing all sorts of things. That's but right. before we highlight that, mm -hmm. We have to get your story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, high school. We can start from high school, maybe. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, you wanted to. You want to know yes. where I went to. Uh, where you went to in high school yeah. and uh, were you dancing back then while while still in high school? Oh, okay. Mm. Um, I went to a school. Mm -hmm. If I mention the name, you will not know it because uh -huh. size in Iduka and Yama. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those schools. Yeah, one of those schools. Uh -huh. Yeah, President Kennedy High School uh -huh. in here in Nairobi mm -hmm. and Paka Fourth Form. Mm -hmm. But, but you were born and raised in Mombasa, yeah? Mm, uh -huh. Yes, partly. Mm -hmm. Partly. Because, yeah, because mm -hmm. my, my dad met my mom in Machakos mm -hmm. and they got married mm -hmm. and then we went to Mombasa, then mm -hmm. Nairobi again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Mombasa, Nairobi. Uh, Mombasa, Nairobi. In between yeah, Mombasa in between and Nairobi. Nairobi mm -hmm. yeah. And then in high school, you went to St. Kennedy's, uh, which might not be existing right now. It's not but existing. But I'd like to know uh, the circumstances around your high school life. Because before you become queen of Chakacha, yes. you must have performed so much, I'm guessing. In school. Uh -huh. I did. Uh -huh. I used to dance a lot in uh -huh. school. Actually, I started as a dancer. Mm -hmm. And in school, I used to teach people how to dance. Because mm -hmm. since I was a kid, my mom tells me I used to dance even for the visitors, mm -hmm. love music, uh -huh. write music, and uh -huh. live, write stuff. Uh -huh. I, I wanted to be a news anchor when I grow up. Uh -huh. So I could sit down and just write. And when I, when I watch someone reading the news, I'm uh -huh. like, I want to be like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I was that happy uh -huh. girl, So you are always confident, music, always, yes. always happy, Leader. always performing, yes. always talking to the people. True. Right. True. After True. high school. Uh -huh. After high school, uh -huh. um, I went to college. Mm -hmm. I started working. Mm -hmm. Working, going to college uh -huh. as a secretary mm -hmm. for like six to seven months. Mm -hmm. Still in Nairobi. Still in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I got bored mm -hmm. because I felt, hey, I'm uh -huh. and I want to dance. And you're a performer. You yeah. places on stage. Yes. Uh -huh. So working was okay. I was I was hard working, mm -hmm. but I did not. It was not my passion. It was in my it was my thing. Uh -huh. I was just doing it because of my parents. So uh -huh. like last month, kazi after school for the money uh, maybe for the money uh -huh. not really, uh -huh. but just nisi uh nisi -huh. Yeah. All right. So, so uh, at what point did you say I'm going back? Uh, Yeah, one day my friend in the office told me that my my uh, told me that th we have a place mm -hmm. she goes to mm -hmm. on f on Saturdays and Sundays mm -hmm. at disco uh -huh. that she wants to introduce me to. Mm -hmm. So I she told me where the place was. He was in town, so I came to town, mm -hmm. and I didn't like the setup mm -hmm. because there were girls dancing mm -hmm. and. They were not dressed very well. Mm -hmm. They were kind of naked. Uh -huh. They were exposing too much. Exposing, yeah. Uh -huh. And I was like, mm, that's not my thing. I don't uh -huh. want that. She <laughs> said, okay. We went back. We ran back with my sister. We're like, oh, that's not our place. People are drinking and you know uh -huh. stuff like that. And being raised as a Muslim, tough mm -hmm. stuff, you know, tough. It was very tough for us. Ekila kitu strict. So uh -huh. the following day, thank you. The following day, mm -hmm. that was on a Sunday. She introduced me again to another club in Westlands, mm -hmm. Boomerang. Mm -hmm. 
So when I went there, I liked the place and I saw people dancing and I'm like, I can do this too. So I was introduced to the manager the same day. This was more decent and not really it was compromising. It uh-huh. was, it uh-huh. was. So I, w- I, w- I started dancing as a break dancer, uh-huh. you know, that's uh-huh. that thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, can you still so do it, by I the can. way? All right. I can. <laughs> we'll test that interview <laughs> towards the end of the I show. I still can do we'll that. We'll be dancing to one of uh, very <laughs> decent. Anyway. Yeah, uh-huh. so when I was introduced to the manager, he, he, s- he interviewed me, mm-hmm. as in auditioned me, mm-hmm. and then he said, ah, good. Kwanzaa next week, uh-huh. you're on. You're on. That's how I started. And you had a paycheck as well? Yes, I did. All right. They were paying me every every Sunday. All right, every yeah. Sunday they yeah. pay you. Yeah, sometimes uh, so I started going on Fridays, uh-huh. Saturdays, and Sundays. So I quit my job mm-hmm. because Monday I'm like, oh, dozing off. And uh-huh. those really customer, tired. no. What did your parents think about this? They were not very happy because mm-hmm. being raised as a Muslim, mm-hmm. the l- it's very strict. Being yes, a Muslim girl and you're very dancing very in the reserved. nightclub, uh-huh. yeah. Um, they didn't mar- know. Uh-huh. They didn't know. After one year. Mm-hmm. I was in the newspaper, the uh-huh. front page, uh-huh. because I just won the Queen of Chakacha title somewhere in Kiambu. Mm-hmm. And my dad was the first one to see the newspaper that mm-hmm. morning. And I was like, oh my, when I got home in mm-hmm. the morning, you know, they didn't know that we used to go. We used to to run. Uh, we used to, to escape. Chinyamaji, Kwadirisha, uh-huh. me and my sister, uh-huh. we go. And then by five, we are back to our room, to Najifanya mm-hmm. Tumelala. Uh-huh. Yeah. So when my mom so go, ma- when they go to work, a yeah, for, for a year. year. For a year. Wow. If it was not for the <laughs> newspaper, uh-huh. I think one you are but uh-huh. when they saw that, uh-huh. I love by then I dressed I was dressed in a short skirt, tumbo cut. So your dad was Oh really my surprised. dad was so mad. Because in the house you're oh in a boy boy. Oh he hit me with the newspaper. It was so mad. They chased me out of the house. Mm-hmm. There was they were like Una tua ribia, una tua ibisha, uh-huh. how can you do this? Uh-huh. Especially a girl. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. a girl. You know, we respected you. That's why you quit your job. Mm-hmm. Na 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 na. I, d- I didn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. I stayed out out of the gate, outside mm-hmm. the gate, mm-hmm. crying until Kitukama one there. My mom came and picked me back. Come back to the house mm-hmm. and don't go to the clubs again. Mm-hmm. But I even introduced my brother, my, uh-huh. my kid bro, uh-huh. who is Kanda King. Uh-huh. We are I going to be talking about your brother. I, introduced I was about to highlight your brother. Yes. Yeah, so uh, while doing this thing, yes, uh, your sister, yes, what was your dad's reaction to your sister? Oh, they didn't, um, they didn't beat her up because uh-huh. I'm the one that introduced her uh-huh. to. You are the older she one. Was, yeah, I'm the older one. All right. So I used to take her along with me, uh-huh. carry my bag, uh-huh. stuff like that. I'm guessing your dad had friends this time. Yes, uh, he did. did. He was. He told me Omeniaibisha, mm-hmm. Omeniaibisha friends wangu nini nini but then when i started uh being famous like niko kwa newspaper on tv mm-hmm. i'm traveling money's coming in mm-hmm. paying for my brother's school fees mm-hmm. they're like okay you can it do that it's making sense when you start making some back yes office. yes wonderful it did and then mm-hmm. one thing that my dad did was mm-hmm. he used to follow us to the club mm-hmm. for almost like eight months mm-hmm. because one day i came out of the club and i saw my dad's car mm-hmm. and uh, i asked the bouncers he gari, mwenye mwenye gari akwapi, and they're like, "Tu ni customer yetu, is inside the muzi, is inside." And I'm like, "What? That's my dad." So he had been following you to the club all Silently. the time. Silently. Right. What helped us was uh-huh. me and my sister. Uh-huh. We were not drinking. Uh-huh. Nothing. Tuko tu kwa kona na soda. Uh-huh. After show, you were there before the performing. Yes. All right. So my dad, we we asked. We I went to the car and waited for my dad, uh-huh. and I said. Dad, you're here. Mm-hmm. I want to know what you guys are doing. Uh-huh. If you're spoiling my name, uh-huh. you know, because I want to stop this not thing. Really into something really bad. Yeah, you're just an artist. Yeah, back then. So when he saw that, yeah. he said, "Okay, from today I'll be taking you guys to perform, uh-huh. and then you come back." All right. So that was easy for us because uh-huh. he drops us to this club. This club for, for night we can do like three clubs, uh-huh. and then we go back home with Daddy. You could have bought a few spots. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. I tell you. All right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, I'd like to know your brother, Kanda King. Yes. How does he get into the spotlight? I introduced him. Uh-huh. I taught him how to dance mm-hmm. and na- gave him name Kanda King. So Kanda this Kid. is the teacher of the king. <laughs> this is the teacher of the king right yeah, here on Y254 <laughs> channel on Y in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you mentored, mentored the brother. Mentored is him. one of the best we have yes, out. Yes, he is. Right now. He is. 
So you mentored the brother. Did you take him? D- did you tag him along to some of your performances? I did. Mm-hmm. I did because I I also gave him a name, mm-hmm. Kanda Kid. Because mm-hmm. he used to, we used to take styles from Kanda Bo- Bongo Man. Mm-hmm. And I have to link a loose mabele or somebody. Yeah, loose so mabele. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we, we thought, ah, Kanda Kid, Kanda Kid, not Kanda uh-huh. Bongo Man, Kanda uh-huh. Kid is a good name. Uh-huh. So I gave him the name. Now uh-huh. he's changed to Kanda King because he's a father now. He has, he, grew two, up now. he has two sons. So we have a new Kanda Kid though. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. So um, I used to tag him along. We uh-huh. go to clubs, to carnival, to uh-huh. different places uh-huh. where I used to perform. I love for Kido Kido when I'm dancing and I, the, the DJ changes the music. Uh-huh. And Akuja Nengia and people loved him. Aye. Yeah, that's Especially why Especially the ladies, I bet. You know, ladies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aye. And he was tiny. Uh, he was so then. tiny. I remember one day I was beaten up because I lose, e- I miss exam on a Monday. Mm-hmm. We traveled to Mombasa mm-hmm. and we were supposed to come back on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. But that, su- that Sunday, Gary Kukua. Uh-huh. So we had to come back on Monday. Mm-hmm. I miss Shule. Uh-huh. Oh, your dad my was mom not was impressed. My mom. Oh, your mom oh, was not impressed. He was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was mommy's son <laughs> back then. Yes. All right. Before we talk about uh, your relation with the people you used to work with back mm-hmm. then, mm-hmm. at what point of your career, after winning all these awards, yes. after performing on all these stages, mm-hmm. after being on TV, I know you've met some of the most powerful people yes. in the country. Yes. Uh, what were some of the highlights during this particular phase of your life? What mm. do you remember from uh, Farida, the, the, the Chakacha? Queen. Oh, it's it's a lot because I remember one time um, I I was some they sent me a ticket to travel to Dubai, but when I got to the airport, just at the airport here, the treatment was different. I'm like, hey, VIP stuff, you know. Uh-huh. I almost have bodyguards around me, uh-huh. and my parents were like, what's going on? Uh-huh. I did not know that the president of Dubai uh-huh. had sent me the ticket. It like invited me to go perform. Head of state. Yes, head of state. Then number one. Yes. Uh-huh. He invited me to go to Dubai for his birthday and perform. So the treatment from here to there, oh Lord. From JK all the way. Yes. To us. And I'm like, I was looking for my Yes. My visa, you know? When I checked my visa properly, then I saw the name uh, of the person who invited I you. Shake. I don't know who that uh-huh. was. Whoa. This is when Hold your parents up. figured out that you were going to meet the president of yes. Dubai. Yes. Who did you tag along on this trip? I was alone. You were alone. Mm, they what? didn't invite me. First, I, w- um. I used to go with the mushrooms mm-hmm. and, and, and some of Pangala. Uh-huh. But this time I was invited alone. All right. Because uh, most of the time they, w- they would request for me. They would mm-hmm. say, if you're not coming with her, no, mm-hmm. this time we don't want you to come. Okay. Because I was. You are the, the star of, of the show, the center yes. of attraction. Yeah. When they put up the bo- the billboards, mm-hmm. they write she's back. All right. They will not even mention my name. Mm-hmm. They just she's back. They will not oh. write Princess for it. I back. love that. So you went to Dubai a couple of times. Yes, many times. So many times. Yes. All right. I uh, think it's a kind of dance. The chakacha, you, mm-hmm. you know. Yes, uh, I've seen it. I can't really do it. But yeah. I've seen it. I can <laughs> tell when I see it. Yes. Yes. So, uh, I, I'd like to know. Uh. At what point mm-hmm. did you know this is not for me? Um, it's not something that I planned mm-hmm. because I was at top of my career. Mm-hmm. Like um, I just bought new equipment mm-hmm. to start my my life. Now I just recorded a new album mm-hmm. with my full band mm-hmm. because I used to go with the mushroom and stuff like that. So I formed my own band mm-hmm. and we travel again to mm-hmm. different countries. Mm-hmm. So. One day when I was coming from the trip, Mm -hmm. from Dubai, Mm -hmm. I stayed for one year, a a guy kept calling me, one of the crew members. Mm -hmm. He kept calling me to the cockpit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what's up, man? You do what, you know, Nifke, man, blow ya. I was hot. (laughs) Still is. (laughs) (laughs) I like this very much. Yeah, so. Like the confidence (laughs) you lose it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, he kept inviting me to the cockpit. Uh And I said, man, no. I'm not interested. I'm not a student. Mm-hmm. How do you want me to go to the cockpit? Mm-hmm. When you how you operate the plane. Mm-hmm. But he kept insisting. He actually started bringing me perfumes. Mm-hmm. Now is it perfume and a letter that, that my... Designer this perfumes. Designer perfumes. Mm-hmm. The duty-free. Mm-hmm. You know they're sold. Yeah. $100 and $130. Mm-hmm. But they're giving them for free. Three of them. Kila mm-hmm. Kienda, I say no. He brings me a perfume. Oh, mm-hmm. this is in the house. We bought this one for you. Please come. Funny thing... I'll go and buy perfume zangu. And I'm like, whoa. I, I even asked my brother, 
did you talk to this guy? Uh-huh. My, my sister too, because uh-huh. we're the same plane. Uh-huh. So my the kind of perfume I use? I uh-huh. said, no. So I decided, ah, it's too much. Let me just go. But I won't go alone. Uh-huh. So I took one of my dancers. Uh-huh. We went to the cockpit. Uh-huh. But when I went to the cockpit, I looked, t- she took already uh, uh-huh. the shippy and all that. Uh-huh. I'm like, wow, it looks so beautiful. Uh-huh. The planes, yeah, 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 and Danny, you uh-huh. know, it's like a studio. The runway, yes. the equipment, so the wow, lights. Uh-huh. the lights, uh-huh. two pilots. Sijawi, you know, let you go visit uh-huh. the airport. Uh, uh-huh. So, I was when I, I focused, uh-huh. and I saw, I saw people dressed in white, uh-huh. clouds. Uh-huh. And I'm like, who? Who are those people? They're looking so beautiful, pure white. And I'm like, so you asked oh. the gentleman next to you. I was just talking to myself, uh-huh. like, whoa. You know, it's my first time to be at the cockpit. Uh-huh. So I'm thinking, is it to happen? Uh-huh. That there are people there for uh-huh. cloud. They were worshipping. They were, they were raising out their hands, like, you know, men and women and, and children. Mm-hmm. But then Nikasema, who are those people? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I want to go with them. Mm-hmm. But I had a voice speak to me mm-hmm. and say, Farida, you cannot go with those people. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I looked around, and that time, see kwa ndege, it's like I was out of the plane, somewhere dark, and I was crying. So I'm like, in a dirty place, very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And asked my, I asked, who is this, mm-hmm. and why can't I go with those people? Mm-hmm. And he answered me, because you're a sinner. Wow. Yes. You had a voice. I had a voice, uh-huh. very clear. Uh-huh. Yani, clear. Uh-huh. Never had it before. Uh-huh. You, can't go, you can't go with those people, because you're a sinner. Before I ask something else, he told me, if this plane crashes right now, where will you go? And the moment he said that, I saw myself crying, uh-huh. and I saw the plane crash, uh-huh. and then I saw letter hell uh-huh. written in front of me. Uh-huh. Fire, Kitoka, even the letters were like doing that. Where were you heading? Me. We were coming home. You were coming home? Yeah. All right, you were not going to perform somewhere? No, All right. we were coming back home. Mm-hmm. We had stayed in Dubai for a year. Mm-hmm. So when I when I heard that that you're a sinner and that that's all let us hell, I started crying and repenting, mm-hmm. saying I'm sorry, mm-hmm. stuff like that in the cockpit, mm-hmm. not audibly, mm-hmm. like I said, it's like nili toka I saw myself, and I'm seeing myself there crying, mm-hmm. in a corner, in a dark corner, wow. in a trance. I think uh-huh. I'm in a Who's trance. the first person you talked to about this story? About this story? Uh-huh. No, After wait. you, all right, all right. Wait. Uh-huh. So when I when 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 I started crying and repenting, I felt a hand touch me, mm-hmm. touch my shoulder. Mm-hmm. He said, "My daughter, you have the last chance mm-hmm. to go to heaven, but you must go to church." You know, mm-hmm. I felt happy. There was joy in my heart. Mm-hmm. Could you tell who this so person was? I knew it was God. Mm-hmm. Yes, I knew it was somebody that's. I knew it was God. Mm-hmm. You know, Ile, we are sure mm-hmm. because He created us. He knows us. So he knows how to speak to us. Mm-hmm. When he said that, I felt a lot of joy. Mm-hmm. Nika feel nika ma amzigo was lifted mm-hmm. out of me. Mm-hmm. And I was so excited and I said, yes, I'm going to heaven. So when I screamed that, the pilots heard me. It's when they turned and asked me, you think we're taking you to heaven? We're actually around at the river, almost landing. Wow. You know, I'm like, can't you ask me who I was talking to? Uh-huh. Didn't you see those people who were, were worshipping? Mm-hmm. Nothing. And, uh, how long do you think this trance how long? took? I don't know. Uh-huh. I, but I don't know because when, when, when they told me that, uh-huh. we were already landing. Uh-huh. So uh, I was th- when they didn't ask me any other question, like mm-hmm. who are you talking to? Where did you go? Uh-huh. I wanted them to ask me. Hey, uh-huh. will you fly happy? Uh-huh. No, they didn't say that. So I was confused. One, uh-huh. I, I know I was happy, but I was confused. What mm-hmm. happened? Church, me, I'm a Muslim, mm-hmm. so I went back mm-hmm. to this to my seat, uh-huh. and I'm like, oh, something happened. Mm-hmm. I need to go to church. Mm-hmm. I told one of the dancers that I went to, last month we like a church mm-hmm. with this coming week. Was the like dancer tomorrow. a Christian? Like tomorrow, she was a Christian. Christian. Uh-huh. She was a Christian. Mm-hmm. So I told her, you must take me to church, mm-hmm. to your church, mm-hmm. to Kiland Kesho. Take me to church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what happened. Which so church? Uli pale kwa church gani na? Okay, at first I landed in a different church. Mm-hmm. Um, 
somewhere in Ru- 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 Ruaraka. Mm-hmm. But then Bishop Kitonga, now mm-hmm. who is my spiritual father right now, mm-hmm. of Redeemed Gospel Churches, mm-hmm. looked for me. Mm-hmm. He sent people. Mm-hmm. Because God spoke to him, mm-hmm. mentor her. Mm-hmm. So I was taken to church, mm-hmm. to his church. Separately. Until this was separately. A different situation. Yes. God talked to him in a different situation. Yes. Yes. And God talked to you in a different situation. Exactly. Fast forward, because uh, we are running out of time. Mm-hmm. You have two books written. And uh, one is about you, Princess Farida, The New Me. Yes. Yes. What can we get from this book, apart from your life story? Here, there's mm-hmm. um, a lot of lessons mm-hmm. that I've learned along the way. Mm-hmm. You know, before I got born again, and I didn't know my purpose then. Because mm-hmm. um, in this, in, in my life, yeah, um, mm-hmm. I can say I broke a lot of marriages, mm-hmm. not knowing, you know, in quotes, mm-hmm. breaking marriages, mm-hmm. because my kind of dance mm-hmm. used to be erotic, sec- yeah, uh-huh. seductive. So uh-huh. men used to like go crazy about me. Mm-hmm. I could. Be dancing in nightclub, and, you know and I see people fighting. Uh-huh. You know, and uh-huh. Kiliza bouncers tell me, "I will gonna fight you, Juyako, man." You know, so you even knew marriages. the effect you had on on the gentleman. Yes, uh-huh. yes. So, uh-huh. and uh, before you used to assume it. Exactly. I did nothing wrong. That is what yeah. you used to say. Yeah, mm-hmm. I used to say that, but mm-hmm. it's because I was not in my purpose, serving my purpose, mm-hmm. the one God created me mm-hmm. to to do, because mm-hmm. um, God put music in me, but He wanted me to serve Him like mm-hmm. I'm doing now. But then the enemy mm-hmm. took it to the nightclubs. All right. I'd like to yeah. highlight some bullet points from okay. the book. All right. And uh, the first one is stop holding to the old. Let God do something new in your life today. Mm-hmm. What can mm-hmm. you say about this? Yeah. Uh, that, that goes to actually to the unborn again. You need to give your life to the Lord mm-hmm. so that you know what. He you have a lot. I did not know that I could write books. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that I could write songs. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that I could speak, be a motivational speaker and mm-hmm. encourage someone that is down, you know? Mm-hmm. God can use you. I didn't know that I can pray for someone and they get healed. Mm-hmm. You know the anointing. When mm-hmm. you when you serve God, when you give your life to the Lord, mm-hmm. He leads He leads you. But God has worked through you like this. He I'd has. like to highlight another bullet point, yes. but you're not going to comment on this one because it's uh, self explanatory, but I love it so much. Right. The only place yesterday is happening is in your head. Embrace a new beginning. That is message a message from Farida uh, or Princess Farida uh, in her book, The New Me. It's on Amazon as well. It is. How can they get a hold of it online just in case they want to have a peek? Okay, uh, mm-hmm. they can make someone can talk to me mm-hmm. through Real Princess Farida mm-hmm. on Facebook and mm-hmm. Instagram. Real Princess Farida uh-huh. or the Twitter, you can go to the Real Farida uh-huh. and you can DM me. Uh-huh. Talk to me there. And then get a link. If you have right. any prayer request, uh-huh. no problem. Prayer request. Pray. As well. Yes. Right. On to your next book. And this one is Pink Like My T shirt. Uh-huh. Uh, in the like spirit pink, of uh, <laughs> celebrating the culture. Yes, yes. Uh, this is Queen's Wednesday on Y in the morning. The book is called uh, Priceless Gems Every Girl Should Have. Yes. Yes. Uh, what inspired this book and what messages in this book that is not in the other in the other one for the ladies okay. no not the other one the other handbooks that we've seen for the ladies all right all mm-hmm. right this one is is a tool mm-hmm. I, I say it's a mentorship tool mm-hmm. that i use for the girls mm-hmm. because um every time like uh, now i'm on tv there are some places that you give out your number mm-hmm. when i give out my number some girls you know so I just save it mm-hmm. so i started having uh, calls getting calls from mm-hmm through young women. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, I'm pregnant and I want to, to do an abortion. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, 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 don't do it. It's a sin. Mm-hmm. So, it uh-huh. and I'm like, is this a ministry that God is giving me? Because uh-huh. um, later on, I came to realize that I tell them that mm-hmm. just at the Usitoy Ball, mm-hmm. um, they don't get an abortion. Uh-huh. So we have just like... Just because of your word. Yes. Just because of the word God has spoken exactly. through you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So we, we have saved like 35 babies. Mm-hmm. I have a foundation mm-hmm. called Princess Farida Foundation. Mm-hmm. We have saved like almost 35 babies mm-hmm. from abortion. Right. So I decided, because I cannot reach all of them, mm-hmm. I decided now to put it in a book. In a book. You know, teach them uh, stuff. Because through your words you can reach yes. masses. Yes. And masses of people. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they can they c- like know this is what to do, this is what not to do. Mm-hmm. Know your purpose. Know why you're created. Mm-hmm. Respect yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, respect like yourself. Mm-hmm. Dress the way you're supposed to. You want to be addressed. Mm-hmm. 
such things, you know. Do you have so, events that you get uh, to talk to the ladies about uh, certain topics like these ones? Oh, I do mentorship. Mm -hmm. I have an office where they come. Mm -hmm. We do mentorship. Mm -hmm. We pray with them, believe uh -huh. God together with them, and teach them stuff uh -huh. about Jesus uh -huh. and about life too. Wonderful. They yes. can get it on your social media handles. Yes, yes, uh, you'll be sharing that in a few. But uh, the last topic of conversation is yes. your the music you're doing right yes. now. It's yes. gospel music. It is. And I'd like to know uh, a little bit about it. Who's producing your music currently? Uh, who's writing it? And uh, who are the support structures for your music? Okay, uh, right now I'm working with John Tez. Mm. I've worked with, with few, like like Busy B, mm -hmm. but right now I'm with John Tez. He's producing my music, and I've worked right now with the new video that I've done, Rafiki Wakweli. Mm -hmm. It's a collab with uh, Delima. I've worked with Steve Hunter. He's done a good job, but I used to work with God God also, mm -hmm. and Jay Blessing. Mm -hmm. So um, right now I'm also working for another music and another book. Mm -hmm. I'm also writing another, another book, which is almost out power of the tongue and that's what i can say about me my music yeah all right uh there's a question that is coming uh from one of the viewers yes. out there yes and uh i like it when you answer a question from the viewers because mm. it's really organic uh -huh. and uh we have quite uh, we have quite a number but i'll pick this one mm. uh, and it goes something like have you gotten criticism uh, from people saying that you are a pretender uh, they don't believe that you have changed any bit that's not new. Because when I got born again, mm -hmm. my story is, is dramatic. Mm -hmm. And some people heard me say this, and they were like, ah, you know, like you're drunk. We didn't see nothing, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But I know myself, and God knows me. Mm -hmm. He looks at the heart. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I wouldn't really know why someone can say that you change, but I know I've changed, and people that are close to me mm -hmm. know that I've changed a lot. I, feel like we I like that. Thank you very much for coming. Thank I feel like so we much. can go on and on and on because yes. uh, you are quite interesting. You have a story. Uh, yeah. So as we wrap this up, uh, your social media handles yes. uh, so people can interact with you and they can get to get a hold of these books as well. Okay. Your camera is number one. Okay, for Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, it's Real Princess Farida and Instagram, Real Princess Farida. You can DM me, you can talk to me there and uh, Twitter is The Real Farida. Mm -hmm. Then you can go to my YouTube channel, Princess Farida TV, subscribe, like, talk to me there, you know, comment, watch my music, watch my interviews, because there's a lot of stuff in my channel. Mm -hmm. And you can get my books on Amazon mm -hmm. and also my music, yeah. Thank you very much, Princess Farida. Thank you for so coming much, Barry. Thank we you for inviting me. You. Uh, the strength of a woman. Is your own strength of a woman. You Amen. are our strength of a woman. Amen. Hallelujah. Day. Amen. Thank All you. All right. So, uh, yes, we have come to the end of this particular segment. We had Princess uh, Farida herself. Now she goes by the name Prince uh, Farida Maria uh, <laughs> Miguala. Miguala. Oh, She's Isaac. married yes. with two kids and now uh, ministering the word of God. You can check out on social media so you can get more of a story. She has an interview with Turning Point as well. You you can get more info on that. So uh, right about now, uh, we have Valentine coming up next with Girls Talk. You don't want to miss this. They have a hot topic of conversation. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Moon on every social media platform. Don't type that down.